Hi and welcome back. Today we are here to go through the best winter fragrances for men this year. The winter is actually one of my favorite seasons of the year. Not that much because I love the cold weather, but I really like the kind of fragrances that suits for those cold days. The fragrances in the winter is often warm, they are spicy, they are woody, and I also prefer them sweet. So I have picked out eight fragrances that I think is amazing for the winter. The ones that will cut through that crisp cold air and that will make you smell warm and cozy even when it's cold outside. If you you have seen my videos before you know I'm a huge fan of the strong with you fragrances from Emporio Armani and I would say that almost any one of them really is perfect for winter the one that is less suitable for winter is maybe only because that one is a bit more fresh and citrusy than the others but one that is really amazing for winter that is unfortunately very hard to find is stronger with you leather if you think of the original stronger with you and then you think of the strong with you absolutely and then you add this soft touch of leather then you get stronger with you leather this one is so incredible it's so hard to find although and it's quite expensive I think this was about $160 compared to the others which you can often find around $100 but since this is so hard to find I felt like I had the responsibility to also show you something else now strong with you absolutely is unfortunately discontinued I think so it's kind of hard to get but you can still get it somewhere so strong with you absolutely would be the second choice after this one but if you can't find those two then you can absolutely go for for the one that's called strong with you intensely strong with you intensely is kind of similar to absolutely but it doesn't have the boozy touch that absolutely has this has more of the sweetness this is like sugary sweet and it's really addictive if you absolutely love sweet fragrances this is something you can wear every day but i think many of you will choose to have this on for like dates special occasions a cozy evening in front of the fire because the sweet vanilla the spices and the woody notes just suits so well for cozy occasions there is almost no season that doesn't have a perfume somali fragrance that is just perfectly fit for it and the one i chosen for winter is kalan i think kalan is an amazing fragrance it's woody it's spicy it's sweet and the combination of that sweetness and the very prominent woody notes is just incredible and smells very masculine. It has a full and citrusy opening with blood orange and spices. In the midst there is a floral mix and in the base there is woody notes together with warm amber. As usual with Parfums de Marley fragrances the performance is incredible. So when you have this on people around you are going to pick up your scent. And I know that a lot of guys are commenting saying that well the ladies really love Kala. This is for you if you like fragrances that spicy, warm and woody and if you like fragrances like Baccarat Rouge or Carlisle from Parfums de Marly then you will probably enjoy this one as well. When it comes to occasions since this is quite heavy it's very woody it's very spicy it's sweet it has a great performance this is something you want to wear when you are maybe going out around people maybe not when you're at work and spending the whole day in a meeting room with others but for a date for a going out evening or just for drinks on the town this is perfect. As you know the fragrances from Parfums the Marley are not cheap so this is around $200 so if you have the money it's definitely worth every penny and if you want to invest in one fragrance that has great performance and that will make you stand out Kalan is a good choice and it's not the first time I mentioned the next one but seriously for winter this is the perfect scent and it's Sauvage Elixir from Dior this is by far the best Sauvage fragrance in that collection I actually do like all of the Sauvage fragrances but this one is special and is very different from the others okay very different might be an overstatement but it really goes in another direction than the others the others are very fresh and woody this is fresh spicy woody and sweet it has the perfect mix of spices with cardamom cinnamon and nutmeg then it has the lavender that you recognize from all the sauvage fragrances and in the base there is woody notes together with amber and here is the special thing 
a licorice nose that's just crazy good. This licorice is there in the background. It doesn't take over the whole scent, but it's there in the background, adding something different and a bit of sweetness. And if Beast Mode Performance had a face, this would be it. This stays on for long and it projects really good. This is something that I think you will like if you like the YSLY fragrances and of course if you like the other Savage fragrances. But if you want something that is a bit richer, that's even stronger and that stands out even more. If you find this on a good sale, I think you can find it for around $150. But it's common that it's more expensive than that. One thing I have noticed the last I would say six months or 12 months, is that the fragrances has really become more expensive. Is it the same where you are? Fragrances that you could buy for like 80 bucks or 100 bucks earlier now cost about 150 bucks and that's a big difference. When it comes to occasions, this is something you can spray on for any occasion. And I'm not kidding, you can even wear this to the gym. You can wear it on a day to smell attractive, you can wear it to work to smell professional. Yeah, just whenever. This is so easy to like. It has the freshness, the spiciness, the sweetness, the woodiness, and it just smells good to most people. One that has been compared a lot to Dior Sauvage Elixir is Gisada Ambassador Intense. And yeah, I can definitely see similarities, but this is a different scent. It has its own personality, it goes in its own direction, but if you like the or Sauvage Elixir, I think this might be a good addition to your scent collection if you want something that is kind of like Dior Sauvage Elixir but still with its own personality and it does bring something different to the table. This is also warm, spicy, sweet and aromatic just like Sauvage Elixir but this has so many more nuances to it and it has this fruity sweetness that just makes it so good. I'm not going to go in through all the notes because there's a ton. There is different woody notes, different spicy notes notes, floral, leather, caramel, even berries. So this is such a beautiful blend with so many nuances to it and it's really incredible and so suitable for winter because this smells so warm, it smells sweet, it smells cozy. This is really such a beautiful blend with so many layers. And just like Sauvage Elixir, you can wear this to any occasion. On the good side is that this is a bit less expensive than Dior Sauvage Elixir, but there is really no difference in quality. This is a beast mode performer and it leaves a sand trail to die for. It stays in the rooms where you have been for hours. And if that's not beast mode, I don't know what is. So obviously, if you like Sauvage Elixir, you are going to like this one. But I also think you will like this one if you like fragrances like Spice Bomb Extreme, YSL La Nuit de Long, and those kind of warm and spicy fragrances. I think all of the fragrances from Valentino are so easy to like. They have different vibes, but they all work for so many occasions. And they are so versatile and so mass appealing. And Valentino keeps coming out with different variations of the collection Born in Rome. And one of the latest ones in the Born in Roma collection is Valentino Romo Born in Roma Intense. I get a lot of comments about this one. I get many comments from guys telling me that their woman loves when they are wearing Born in Roma Intense. So there is definitely something to this one that makes people react. This has the note that almost everyone likes, that is perfect in the winter and that, I mean, people even have scented candles with just this note. And it's vanilla. People tend to love vanilla. And this is vanilla together with lavender in an aromatic mix. It's a bit spicy and it's a bit sweet. And if you compare it to the original Boring Roma, this has more of the spiciness and the aromatic side. That one is more vanilla focused. Here they have amped up the other side. So so this is more rich and more intense. It's not a beast mode performer when it comes to projection, but it definitely has a really good longevity. But you will pick up your own scent and if someone is a bit closer to you, they will definitely pick it up as well. If you like fragrances like The Most Wanted or Wanted by Night, I think this is something that you are going to like as well. This has the spiciness, the vanilla, the woody notes that just seems to work for many. Since the projection is quite average on this one, I think you can wear it for any occasion. Wear it to work or wear it just whenever because this won't be in anyone's face but you will smell good to most people around you. If you look around a bit you will be able to find this for like $100. So when I think of winter I think of things connected to Christmas. I think of spices, pine, vanilla, sweet things and a fragrance that has just about all of that is Feb Delicious from Dior. 
This is a beast mode performer and it smells so incredible. If you haven't smelled this one yet, you should run to the store because this is really special. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's warm, it's gourmandy. It has everything you want in a scent. I actually have the big bottle and I have the small bottle as well because I just want to be able to carry it around, especially in the winter time and just spray it on a couple of times through the day. However, this is a beast mode fragrance, so I wouldn't recommend to spray a lot because you will choke the people around you. And that's why it's so perfect to just bring the small bottle and spray on one or two sprays throughout the day. So this opens up citrusy and fresh with mint, lavender and bergamot. In the midst there is cherry and a white floral mix. And in the base is where the magic happens. There is caramel, there is milk, there is praline, cacao pod, just everything sweet you can think of. And not only sweet notes like tonka bean vanilla and those gourmandy notes, it also has a hint of leather. So as I said, this has extremely good longevity and it has an extremely good projection. So when you spray this on, it may feel very strong, but when it dries down, it becomes this soft, sweet and spicy blend that is just truly intoxicating. So if you really like gourmandy fragrances, this is a must have in your collection. If you like fragrances like Tonka Imperial from Guerlain, if you like fragrances like Chalimar, whichever in that collection, this is something for you because this is the perfect vanillic sweet and spicy blend that doesn't pass by on notice. When it comes to occasions, this is something you spray on when you want to smell attractive, cozy and inviting. It does work for formal occasions, but only if you wear just one or two sprays. The big bottle of this is quite expensive. It's like $300 or so, $250, but that's a lot. But you can find the smaller bottles, which is actually enough because this is so strong. And you can find this for like $100, which may be a bit more realistic to some. And you know that I really love leather fragrances. So how can I do a list about winter fragrances without mentioning at least one leather focused fragrance? And for this video, I have chosen Italian leather from Memo. This is one of the most unique and mass appealing leather fragrances you can find. Not only does this have a lot of aromatic notes in it, but it also has vanilla and a powdery touch to it, which makes it so easy to use and which makes it even loved by people who are not into leather fragrances. So this is about a strong note of leather. Then you have Oris for the powderiness, you have vanilla for the sweetness, and there's tomato leaf which adds to that aromatic side of it. And in the base, many of my favorite notes that really makes fragrances powdery and creamy. There is benzoin, there is myrrh, there is tola balsam, and opoponax. You don't find many fragrances that's not beast mode, but this has a soft side thanks to those powdery notes and the vanilla. Even though this is beast mode with a great performance that stays on your body for long that projects to others, this has a sweet and soft top that just takes off the edge and makes it so beautiful. If you like tobacco vanilla from Tom Ford and if you like black orchid from Tom Ford and even I would say copper from Comme des Garçons, this is something that I think you will enjoy. And when it comes to occasions, this is more versatile than you would imagine. You can actually wear this for any kind of occasion even to work because of that soft, powdery and sweet side. You find this online for around $200 to $250 and that is expensive, but this has great performance so it will last for long. So now use these fragrances to make this warm and cozy atmosphere around you even though it's cold outside. Take the opportunity to wear those beast mode fragrances that's maybe too strong for other parts of the year. As you know, a fragrance is more than just a scent. It's a way to show the world who you really are, so use your best fragrances and make sure that you don't miss a day to tell the world something unique about you. Before you leave, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about the best men's fragrances from a woman's point of view. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.